G'day, I'm Paul. Have you ever wondered what happens if you pull the emergency brake on an EV? I've never done it myself and I was thinking, you know, what, what actually happens? So today we're going to test it and see what happens. So let's jump in and get set up. Okay, now let me explain what we're doing here. So this is the Kia EV6. Uh, it's basically Kia's entry level EV6 variant. So rear wheel drive, single motor. Uh, I'm gonna get it up to speed. We're gonna pull the emergency brake, which is located down here. And <laughs> God, I don't know, we'll see what happens. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna get it up to 80 Ks an hour. I'm gonna yank this switch down here and we'll see what happens. So in old cars, when you did like pulled up the handbrake, it would just lock the wheel because you're physically closing the brakes at the rear. Uh, this on the other hand, there's no easy way to ease it on. It's either on or off. So um, I hope this doesn't just lock the wheels because we'll be in trouble. So let's give this a shot. We'll get it up to 80 and then I'll uh, flick the switch. Here we go. So, accelerating. Okay, we're at 80 k's an hour. Here we go, I'm gonna pull the switch. <laughs> Wish me the best. Oh, wow. That was super gentle. That was literally just like me using the brakes myself. Um, yeah, it wasn't what I was expecting. Okay, what happens if I flick it while we're driving? Okay, so even if my foot's on the throttle, it still jams it on, which is good. Uh, let's do one more thing. I'm going to switch stability control off. I'll see if that actually makes a difference when we accelerate. Get it up to 80 again, and then I'll flick that switch. Here we go. Doesn't make any difference. It just basically slows down and comes to a complete stop. So, okay, that was slightly less eventful than I thought it was going to be. So, I know what you're thinking, um, but... Paul, what happens if you're on gravel? Good question. Um, <laughs> we're on gravel now. So I'm gonna uh, get it up to, I don't know, let's call it 70Ks an hour. And I'm just going to flick the switch. Here we go. Oh, that's a little more violent. Oh, <laughs> that's way more violent. Um, so what happened there, as we got close to the end of our travel, I could hear the ABS kicking in because with gravel, uh, it basically is a, a lower mu surface, so you get a whole lot more slip as the car's trying to stop. So we've built up a little bit of gravel in front of our wheel there. So look, it means it works on gravel as well. You can use this switch anywhere you want if your brakes aren't working or if you need to stop in a hurry, and that is your only option. Well, there you go. We've learned that the emergency brake on an EV just works like... I guess br pressing the brakes as hard as you possibly can. It's not like a traditional handbrake that sort of locked up the wheels as, as soon as you yanked it up. Now, it is worth keeping in mind that some EVs could perform differently. We've only tested the one here, but I suspect most of them use a similar system when you do pull the emergency brake. Otherwise, cars would be sent all over the road. When would you use it? I don't know, really. It's probably, uh, yeah, if, if you have some uh, you know, issue with your brakes, that is the switch you want to go for if everything goes pear-shaped. So at least you know what it does now and that it works on an EV. Now, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel. That way you'll get notified every single time one of them goes live. And if you did enjoy this video, please make sure you share it with your mates. Hit the like button. But until next time, take it easy.